Hello and welcome to the Kermico YouTube channel. Th I put this channel together because I am going to be making a bunch of tutorials for an upcoming book and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, house them all on, on this channel uh, but as I am building up to publishing the book uh, hopefully towards the end of 2014 uh, I'm going to try and do at least one tutorial every two weeks and do more as I get closer to the the book being published and interestingly enough the first one's not going to be about 3d it's going to be about Photoshop and a workflow that I use uh, and uh, the timing of this is opportune because um, recently some very heavy-duty and amazing artist friends of mine have been complaining on uh, Facebook and also in an Adobe forum about the fact that uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, has very poor brush management uh, capabilities specifically for speed painters and people that use a lot of different brushes to quickly create concept art and images and rightfully so I definitely think think that uh, the uh, brush capabilities or the brush organizational capabilities in Photoshop are, are very um, um, unmodern, I guess, uh, compared to some of the other programs that are out there like ZBrush and etc. Um, and also, I think Photoshop users maybe don't use that many brushes because most mostly Photoshop uh, is used by photographers uh, and uh, the, the ra ratio of photographers to artists is is pretty um, big, uh, so I don't know if uh, Adobe has a priority to, to make a change in this. Hopefully they do, but if they don't, uh, I just wanted to go through and show you my workflow, and hopefully that will will help you uh, in what you're trying to do. So um, the utility that I, I use, and, and it's one that I got for a completely different reason, by, but I end up using it for uh, using uh, loading in brushes and, and also shapes, uh, is this utility called Mystic Thumbs, and it's a, uh, it's a uh, utility from mysticcoder.net uh, and it used to be free but now I think it's about $30 and uh, believe me it's probably one of the best $30 I've spent because it really uh, makes my life easier uh, for if not any anything else for the reason I bought it for which is the ability to be able to see thumbnails of PSD files so here, for example, I've got a folder full of, of images. I don't know what they look like. And in Windows, you know, if it's a JPEG image, I can go and uh, turn on the, the thumbnails and I can see them, which is a, a huge help. But if it's a PSD file, it just usually comes up with a big fat icon. Well, if you uh, use Mystic Thumbs, and it's just a utility that just you just run it and it, it runs in the background. And uh, if you do run this utility, if you go to thumbnails, for example, here, I'll go to large icons, you can see thumbnails for JPEG files in addition to PSD files. If I go to extra large icons, it's a really nice way to, to view uh, your images. And um, I know that um, some people use Bridge to do this, but um, I kind of, um, which I'm getting into more and more, but in the meantime, you know, just being able to go to thumbnail view in Windows and be able to see your PSD files as thumbnails is a, is a huge boon. So that's a, you know, that's a good um, $30 spent just for that. But um, as I start to use this program more and more and uh, started to research what it can do, uh, I, I noticed that there's, there's another benefit too. So here, for example, in Photoshop, uh, here are my um, brush presets. And you know, if I load a lot of brushes here, I just have the defaults. But if I load a lot of brushes, this gets a long, uh, this becomes a long list to scroll through to find what you need. And there's no categorization. Some people have found some kludges to do it. And so it makes life horrible. So what I do is, I always start out with a, a, a fresh set and I actually have a keyboard shortcut that I assigned, a hotkey, which is shift control Q, which basically resets the brushes to this. So I start out with a very minimal set, okay? And then uh, to load the other brushes, uh, and I'll just go to, go to one of my brush menus here. Uh, oops, this is shapes. Let's go to brushes. So here I've got a folder full of brushes, and uh, I haven't organized them. I should have them in folders, and I can very easily do that. Uh, I do have some folders, like for example here are the Steambot brushes. And um, what's really nice about this is it gives you a thumbnail of all the brushes, so you can see them this way. And furthermore, if you turn on the preview pane, and, and I'm using Windows 7 here, if you click on a brush 
brush, it shows you what the different brushes are. So now if I want to load these brushes into my brush palette, all I need to do is just double click on that file and now they're added to my brush palette. So I can choose that brush and start painting with it. And um, so it's a really you know nice quick way of loading that brush set in. And if I want to go back and load another brush set, uh, let's say this one, again I just uh, double click on the brush set and uh, it will add it to my brushes so now I can work with that and start drawing uh, those brushes out and again uh, if I start another session or if I want to clear this out I can very easily go and you know hit my keystroke combination uh, which was shift control Q or I can uh, just say reset brushes uh, pick reset brushes from this menu and start over with a clean brush set and then load the brushes I want so uh, I usually have this on a separate window uh, in, on a separate monitor and then I can easily kind of load brushes in and out uh, and the nice thing about this is that it has, uh, you know, I can use this exact same workflow for shapes as well. So if I go here and choose shapes, uh, I've got my default list of shapes here. But if I want to add more, for example, uh, I'll go to my shapes folder here. And uh, again, if I just click on these aircraft shapes, for example, uh, they come up. And if I want to add those shapes to my shapes, I, can, I just double click on that file and now those shapes of aircraft are added to my shapes list down below. And of course here there is a way to reset your shapes as well so you can start out with the default ones that Photoshop comes with. So a really quick way of, of uh, getting your brushes into Photoshop and a, a really quick way of getting your um, your presets uh, or your shapes into into Photoshop just by double clicking on them and also being able to kind of preview what they look like in Windows to be able to do that and also remember that in Photoshop you know for brushes I'll go back to painting here you can always right click and get this menu and you can customize that as well so for example here I've got large thumbnails but you can have them as small thumbnails so if you have more brushes and you want to show them and by the way you can resize this window too to get more or less uh, brushes in there if you want to see what they look like uh, in the stroke you can get the stro stroke thumbnail as well so you can see what the uh, stroke in addition to the brush shape will look like so hopefully this is uh, helpful to you and it will uh, give you you uh, a quick way of uh, organizing and working with your brushes uh, at least until Photoshop comes up with a different way and again there's absolutely no effort required to do this except getting mystic thumbs you don't really have to record any actions or do anything that you probably will um, have to redo every time you install reinstall Photoshop or um, or do uh, or upgrade the software to the new version. Uh, again, this is a Windows only solution for now, and uh, since I just uh, recently got to using uh, Mac and OS 10, so I probably will be looking to see if there is a solution similar to this on that platform as well. So hopefully this has been helpful to you, and uh, please subscribe to this channel. Again, I'll try to post as many videos as I can uh, in the future, uh, and most of them will probably be more ZBrush and Maya-centric, but uh, interestingly enough, I uh, started this one out with Photoshop and Mystic Thumbs. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials.